Zero Sugar. And joining me on the stage right now, oh, they look clean. <laughs> they look clean. Your boys look clean. Look good. But more importantly, I've got the new head coach of the Delta Devils of Mississippi Valley State, Kendall Wade. Coach, congratulations on your job. Yes, Best sir. of luck to you. What are your first comments going to be to the SWAC world? Uh, just feels great to be back in the SWAC. Um, obviously, being a player here in the SWAC back in 2002, it just feels great to be back in the SWAC because I am SWAC, so it just feels good to be back. You SWAC? Yes, sir, I'm SWAC. <laughs> okay, you SWAC. Uh, one of the things about it, you know, you ask why you went to the school, why did you want that job, and what makes you so optimistic about Mississippi Valley State? I got the right vision for the job. You know, if you take and look at Mississippi Valley State with your sight, you know, it seems kind of bleak. But when you have a vision, you see the potential of that place, that place got a lot of potential. And I think um, with the right administration, um, with the right coaches, right players, I think we have an opportunity to do something special at the Valley. Okay, well, well, well share your vision for Mississippi Valley State football. Well, I mean, first and foremost, you know, we believe in better, building better young men. You know, everything that we do, we believe in building better young men. So we use the game of football to make better husbands and fathers and all those things that come with it. The foundation of our program, I mean, we're going to be tough, we're going to be physical, and uh, we're going to be disciplined. That's who we are at the Valley. And so when you, when you look at Delta Devil football, and we know about the history, what do you think? What, what's the process? How quickly can you get them there? That's what everybody wants to know in this society now or when now. Right. How quickly can you get them there? And what are some of the improvements you're looking to make right away? Each and every day we focus on doing winning things. You know, whether that's this year, next year, whenever it may be, we do winning things each and every day. Every day that we are blessed to be here, uh, we take that as an opportunity to go out and just do winning things each and every day. Uh, every day. We focus on doing just the small, minute details right each and every day. We don't believe in skipping in the steps, so we do that every day. We're consistent with it, and that's who we are. You know, and, and, and watching Valley, and I'll, I'll bring the players in a little bit on this one too. Watching Valley, a lot of people say they, they started trending in the right direction. You know, even though the win-loss record wasn't there where it should be, I think with the old coach uh, Vince Dancy who was there, y'all were considered a tough out. Did y'all know that? I mean, nobody was going to come there and get that easy win at Valley, but they just couldn't find a way to get those wins there. Right. Yeah, is that something you address with the guys when you look back at it? Yes, yeah, so we address it and we address it in just the way we go about doing things each and every day. So I was a part of Valley and we lost a lot of close games. And as I looked at Valley the past few years, they lost a lot of close games. But I guarantee you, you don't have to look far. I guarantee you there was something that happened during the week, something small that didn't get addressed and it showed itself on Saturday. So we focus on just all these small things that it takes to be successful. I got you. And, and the key is, you know, and you told me, you shared something with me before, for the first time, Mississippi Valley State is now at 90% scholarship capacity. So yeah. that should help with some of the depth issues you have there. Absolutely. So since we've been there, we've signed 61 new players. Took the job uh, January the 17th, and uh, we've signed 61, 25 high school kids, uh, 21 transfers, and 15 JUCO. So we've signed a lot of kids. We've flipped the roster. It's going to be a totally different team stepping out there this fall. All right. Well, let's talk to some of those, those, those well-dressed men you brought with you over there. Uh, starting off with your quarterback, Jamari Jones, and you got defensive back Brandon Williams. Well, let me start with you, Brandon. You're coming to the program. You know this man. Y'all were together at a previous stop there. What have you seen about him as a head coach, and what can the rest of the swag know that he's going to bring to the table as a head coach? Uh, Coach Wade is somebody who's going to show up every day no matter what's going on and just teaching us to what it's like to be a man. Well, Coach Wade is bigger than football. So for me, that was the biggest thing. He's more than a coach for me. I like that. Bigger than football. What do you mean by that? He shows us how to operate as a man. Like, the things in life is not always going to be easy. So he teaches us how to handle adversity the right way. And, and Jamar, you know, you've been there. And how do you go from what Coach, me and Coach talked about, y'all have always found a way to lose a lot of close games. How do you find a way to win a lot of close games? Um, like you said, uh, he's just been coaching us a lot on just getting those small victories every day. Uh, if we get those small victories, they're eventually going to end up to some big. So uh, we're just working hard every day, and we're just preaching finishing. We have to finish everything. 
Uh, what's, it, what's it like to be the quarterback at Mississippi Valley State? You know, that's, that's a school of, you know, Pernell Dickinson. That's a school of Willie Satellite Totten. You know, uh, you, you think about those. I know those guys got to be in your head all the time because neither one of those two dudes is shy. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, when I first got to Valley, uh, Coach Totten was my quarterback coach. So we have a very close connection. We talk a lot. Uh, just knowing that I'm sitting in the seats that a lot of greats have came and sat in those seats, the, it shows me that anything is possible. Uh, I just have to keep going. And w when I look, for somebody that's, that's never been down to Itabina, I've been there not once but twice. Uh, so w what are some of the things that make it fun to play football in Mississippi Valley State? Uh, to me, this is the, the closest football team I've ever been on. Like, uh, we bond, we're, we're together 24-7, inside of football, outside of football, you're going to catch us together. Uh, we're just... It's a big family-oriented place, and we just all have one common goal, and Coach Wade has us going in one direction. And both of y'all have graduated already, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Go, ahead, go ahead, make your folks proud. Tell them what you, what you graduated and what's your major. Uh, I'm in grad school right now. I'm uh, in sports administration. I graduated with my bachelor's in December. Uh, yes, sir. I graduated with my business administration. I'm in grad school for sports management. Uh, that's all right. So you guys are going to leave there with, a, with an MBA. Uh, in school there when you when y'all leave it Abena, which is what it's all about when, uh, when you think about some of the games on the schedule what are some of the ones that are kind of highlighted obviously I think your big rival Jackson State that's what they say I, I think I don't know you're gonna say all of them aren't you all of them <laughs> <laughs> the most important game is the first game for us. It's the first game of the yes, season sir. we got your schedule right there and you open up against Central State then what's that gonna be like for you coach you, uh, you're gonna coach against Delta State you came from Delta State, yeah. right? Look, man, I, I'm just telling you, I hadn't thought about it. I mean, like I said, every day for us is just about the process of doing these small things right each and every day. Um, we want to be the best version of ourselves. When we're that, our opponent doesn't matter. So there's nobody on that schedule that we're looking at that we're saying we can't compete with when we're at our best. So we're going to control what we can control, which is our preparation, doing the things that we need to do to go out and be right. successful. Well, when I see that schedule there, first thing stands out, once you start getting into HBCU play, you got Central State, Delta State, the, the reigning HBCU national champs. Right. Then you follow that up with the Rattlers. Right. Who's predicted to be the SWAC champs, and then you got Prairie View A&M. Interesting schedule. If y'all can get out the box good, you got to be liking the way things will work out for you. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Look, as you look at that schedule, like you said, the defending champs, uh, then, you know, fam, I think it'll be predicted to finish first. One thing about football, you got to play it. So we're going to find out, you know, soon enough who's who. And, and I'm going to give y'all credit. The Delta Devils always, the past three or four years, have found a way to tear up somebody's season. <laughs> to tear up somebody's season. I know y'all hope to continue that. That's something y'all take pride in when teams come in there on a high horse and all of a sudden they're they, they going to leave Itabina with that loss? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, it, we look at every game the same. We don't really care about messing up anybody's record. I mean, it's more about our record. We're trying to be the best version of ourselves. I got you. Well, we will see. It's good to see y'all. And you know what? The energy is good. Best of luck to y'all. Keep the energy there. No matter what happens, can Coach Wade, yes, sir. congratulations Thank on being you. the head coach at your alma mater. Yes, sir. Now, it's different when now that you're the head man now. You know, expectations now. Hey, so uh, keep that shiny smile on your face right there. And best of luck to you. Anything you want to say to the Valley family? Uh, now I'm just blessed. Um, you know, I don't live for the cheers, so I don't die by the booze. So I don't necessarily listen to a whole lot of what people are saying. So it doesn't matter. Uh, for me, it's all about these young men leading these young men the right way. So uh, the time to do that is now, and we're excited. And like I said, um, we're excited to step out this fall, and we're gonna we're gonna let everything else take care of itself. All righty. Well, we'll see how it plays out on the field. We've got more coming up from Birmingham.